So today um, we're going to be talking about a really fun summer drink. I've only tried making it myself once, but I got the idea from one of my favorite roasters from King King's Coast Roasters out in New Jersey. Um, love their Instagram. If you haven't checked it out before, King's Coast Coffee. Uh, they post a lot of awesome recipes for the menus that they've got going on regularly. And this is one that piqued my interest a while back because I'm a big fan of cream soda and coffee. So I had never thought about doing them together, but they, the visionaries they are, help me see what potential exists out there. So today, we're going to be making a cream soda with espresso in it. All you need is some way to make espresso, however that is. Uh, nice sparkling water, today going with the liquid death, and vanilla or vanilla bean syrup. Uh, the vanilla is going to be what creates that kind of cream soda flavor out of everything. It gets a little diluted by the sparkling water. Um, and then when the espresso in there, it gives that nice little caffeine punch. But it also rounds out the sweetness of the cream soda with a little bit more of the brighter notes from the tropical weather we're using, plus the kind of chocolatey aspects of the espresso itself as well. Um, and it's going to be a nice iced summery beverage. So very excited for that. Like I said, we're going to be using the tropical weather for today's coffee. A um, lot of floral notes in here, berries, plum, very light, actually a nice little sweet tea hit in there that you can sometimes get from time to time, depending on what you, you uh, use or what drink you're making with it. This one does really well for summer drinks. It's a nice iced coffee drink here. I actually love this for my iced long blacks as well. Um, but we are going to start with about 15 and a half grams of coffee beans. Let's open this up. Grams teared out. Shooting for 15 and a half. We'll see what we get. Truthfully, we're only shooting for about 15.3, but if I shoot for 15 and a half, then I might actually get 15.3. Most people you see on Instagram do this the nice fancy schmancy ASMR way using like a little little spritzer. We do things a little differently here wet our finger and then give it a nice little shake this is going to cut down on the static coming off the grinder because grinding coffee beans produces a lot of static get as much of that coffee out of the grinder as possible that is brown and gold right there. Oh, love the smell of fresh ground coffee. Love it. Awesome. What we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and pour some hot water through our group head and our porta filter. Kind of get it nice and cleaned up and preheated. We're going to let that finish dripping through while we're doing that. We're gonna prep our glass first. Shout out to 105 West, one of the greatest hidden gem breweries out here. We're gonna be using vanilla bean from Tarani. Shout out to Marshalls for being a hidden gem of uh, coffee syrups. Shooting for about two tablespoons. Went a little over, that's okay. Feeling a little sweet today. Oh, I love the sound of cracking a fresh can of liquid death. Shooting for about six ounces or so. Oh, come on now. Little over, that'll be all right. Feeling dangerous. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna top you off with a little bit extra vanilla bean. So let's go for about a half ounce. Went a little high, that's okay though. Worth it. 
The great thing is by not using actual cream soda, it mutes the flavors a little bit. It's not overly sweet like a regular cream soda. This relies on a lot of the sugar from the syrup itself. Today is my first day trying out an amazing new coffee toy that I got from the people over at Coffee Alive on Instagram. Heard about this one a while back. For those that have been following for a while, especially in the Instagram stories, I've talked a lot about coffee blanching. Well, today we get to have a lot of fun with that. How much of that top we got out on the first drop? Give it a couple more taps. Love it. So the tapping, the bed evening. The bed evening kind of goes in the place of wedge distribution, which is the fun little thing you see everybody on Instagram do where they turn the thing on top of their coffee. And then the, uh, the tapping on the table or the countertop is in place of all those needles people love to put in their coffee beds to fluff them up. Gets rid of any of the air pockets, allows for more even extraction. And then this is the part that everybody knows, the tamping process. So we are going to really tamp the heck out of that puck. Short glass to make this happen. We are going to make this happen, whether or not this machine likes it. Um, the people at Coffee Alive created a little bit more of a cost efficient version of like the Hyper Chiller. Um, this thing was only like 20 bucks, honestly, but what it does is it locks in all the volatile flavors from your espresso as they're coming out of the coffee machine, which can be lost from pulling a standard shot. So we're going to get to bring out a lot of those really complex flavor notes from the coffee itself. We're going to hope this fits underneath our portafilter because that is one tall portafilter and one short machine. We're going to... We are making it fit. It is going to pull whether it likes it or not. Here we go. My gosh. Spin it a little bit. There we go. So we can see the crema is nice and light. That's gonna be from locking in that flavor. Typically when I pull with this coffee, we get a darker crema, a darker head on top. It's also a little smoother. Doesn't look as aerated as a lot of the crema. It's a little thinner. Smells great on the nose. All right, let's see. Wow. Um, so usually when I pull this tropical weather hot, it, you lose a lot of the floral notes in it, the fruitier notes, this one with the hyper chiller on there, sorry, the coffee alive tool. Um, it comes out accentuating the best parts of a bitter shot of espresso. Like you say bitter, you think sour, you think it's going to be really rough on the palate, but it's actually an even more palatable bitterness than usual. You actually want more of it. Um, it's nice and sweet nice and light. I get a lot of the plum, a little, a lot more of the sweet tea, surprisingly. The sweet tea flavor notes in that coffee come out really heavy just from using that, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, we are going to go ahead. We are not layering this one. We want it to mix. So, and it layers anyways. Looks beautiful though. It's almost like a clarified New York sour with a coffee floater instead of a red wine floater, but not going to stand for it. We're going to mix this up. Got our bar spoon. A 
looks like it's just like an iced coffee, but don't fall. There we go. Looks good. Nice and fizzy, great head on it. Looks like a cream soda. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. There we go.